Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be demonstrating and reviewing for you guys the new ColourPop foundation, no filter foundation. Okay, let's not drop it. And um, I just got this in like yesterday and I'm really excited to try it out because ColourPop has really impressed me with their um, concealer. So I'm like, okay, if you can give me full face, we, we can get somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a swatch of my best matching foundation compared to the no filter foundation just because they look pretty similar in the containers but I want to make sure like we're not Casper and the friendly ghost in here and actually ColourPop um, they did something I thought was really smart especially for foundation online and what they did was they put comparable like it's like so if you go to the foundation and you click and you click on whatever shade that you you think you are like you just click on the no filter foundation it'll let you put in the brand that you currently like your best matching foundation so mine obviously is Maybelline and it's 355 coconut and so I put that in and this is the color that it said would best match me based off of that so here is the Maybelline Superstay dab in the back of my hand spread that out and as you can see she is for me. I'm going to take the ColourPop foundation. It's the consistency I have to say is really different. This one's a lot waterier or like thinner. Like she's skinny. And then so these are them side by side. On top is the Maybelline Superstay which is a lot thicker inconsistency and then on the bottom is the no filter foundation it's not too off i do think the color pop foundation is a little like pinker it's a little the color pop foundation is just a little pinker just a little bit a tad bit pinker than the maybelline but honestly it's tweakable so but so far she's not bad she's she's not bad okay since it's so watery, I'm gonna probably do two pumps stand. Let's do three. Three pumps. And then I'm gonna do this side of my face with a beauty sponge and the other side with my favorite foundation brush. And we're gonna see what, what's a better way to apply it. And I've already primed my skin, so. And then I'm taking my ultimate blending brush from e.l.f. Y'all don't mind my wig, she's still fresh out the box. I just was too lazy to actually go downstairs and get my wig, like the wig that I typically wear. Okay, with a brush, one thing I'm noticing is that it is a lot streakier. And this is my favorite foundation brush. Like this foundation brush works wonders with all of my foundations, but all my foundations are a lot thicker than this one. This one's a lot more watery than what I'm used to but it's not bad. Okay, so application wise, I would recommend using a sponge versus using a brush. Alrighty, so foundation on. For the most part, I'm gonna take care of the under eye in a second. I'm going to take two of the concealers. 
this one this one is in the shade dark 40 and it if you wear fawn la girl fawn this is that equivalent and then this is dark 46 which i thought would be like on looking at it online would be my foundation shade before they had a foundation and um this is not my foundation shade at all but it is pretty like toned down compared to deep 40 so what i do is i take 46 go under my eye and again this is pretty optional what i'm about to do next so this is deep 46 and i could stop here but i want a little extra brightness so i'm gonna take deep 40 or dark 40 do little takes one one and then blend that out I don't know what possessed me to put on bottom eyeshadow before I did my base, but you know what? We're here now. Let us blend and pretend I didn't make that stupid mistake. And I'm going to take the ColourPop concealer in deep dark 57 56 and contour alrighty we're back to programming because my hair is working my, this way it was working my ever loving ever loving nerve I'm noticing that it's falling into my laugh lines pretty quick like I don't have foundation I start creasing out my mouth that fast the contour blended up beautifully I think it matches really really well I'm gonna go ahead and set I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes my face and my contour for my under eyes, I'm going to be taking, they did come out with um, loose powders, but I just couldn't get a hold of one. So I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me loose powder in 30. Scrape off that excess and set my under eyes. And I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer just because I really have been into bronzer lately. I think it's just the prettiest thing. So I'm gonna, oh, this is also from ColourPop and I'm gonna take this bronzer and this is the one in, oh, it's the darkest one. I was like, I thought it had a, a name on it, but um, they did come separately. Um, this is in the shade 
Bronk. The darkest one. I just have been really into bronzer lately and that warm sun kiss kind of look. So that's what we're doing. You want that area to be really nice and warm. So far, so sculpted. How you doing? Let all those powders melt down. Like, you cannot be out here looking like who I want you to do. I am this extra. How you doing? So far, I like the coverage of the foundation. I do notice that it works a lot. It applies a lot better with a sponge um my powders aren't like it's not doing anything weird like, it's not like caking up on me i look really smooth really even contour wise i'm living like my goodness i don't think i've had cheekbones in months okay okay so so far so good i already had the concealer before like under the eyes but my goodness i look great how you doing um if you guys enjoyed this video oh wait we haven't highlighted. We haven't blushed. I'm gonna blush with my Morphe blush palette, and this is the um, 8C or like the cool one. And I'm going to take Queen and Drama, so Drama Queen, and I'm gonna apply those to my cheeks. These, these are really pigmented. Like I've used these before. Your girl, she came in. She went in a little heavy-handed. I'm not gonna lie to you. She she went in not expecting what she got. And I wasn't disappointed with what I got. I was just overwhelmed. So just literally like two taps. Even like if you can barely see it on the brush, it's okay. Just put it on. It will show up, I promise. Like it's actually kind of scary. Like I went I went in with Oh, and I, I use a fluffier brush just so I can get that diffusion. It's not putting all the product in one place. Like a big fluffy brush. Y'all see that blush? How's she doing? Drama, and it is this shade right here. And I'm going to highlight with it. What she to do? What was she to do? She's out on her fanny. So all the birds from Sheffield to Sheffield store. You was there to sell makeup for the father's son, boy. She. And here is the completed look. Um, if you guys want to see a video on this eyeshadow look, just give me like a week and I promise I'll have that out as soon as possible. But so far I really do like the foundation. I think that the coverage is really nice. It's not heavy, it's very light feeling. My, I guess my only like biggest issue that I would find for other people would be that this is very matte. Like, I mean like, like I don't it's not uncomfortable it's just very very matte so if you don't like very very matte foundations or if you have dry skin I would not recommend getting this foundation unless you just like hyaluronic acid like face mask gel moisturizer like you and you prayed beforehand then you then you take the risk sis but if I were you I would stay away from it if you have dry skin yeah, other than that, the finish is great. The application, again, sponge over brush. Stay tuned for that. Let me actually, let's take this off and get the full effect, okay? 
like wig and all. This wig um, is from Hairspells, if you are wondering. Hairspells. Hi. Isn't the bag so cute? Like, I was like, hi, is this, is this God telling me something? It's purple. I love purple. It's my favorite color. My room is purple. My walls are purple. But yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Please share this with your family, friends, and your nosy neighbor. I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, toodaloo.